Intermediate Accounting 23A Construction in Progress Method and Completed Contract. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, St. Louis Test Prep. So I've set up a problem that I recently did with a student, and um, I've added some things from the first version of this that I did that I hope uh, helps with some checks and balances to make sure that we have the problem correct. So over here we have the cost incurred on the project at the top. Costs incurred to date, how much have we spent so far by year? Estimated cost to be incurred, how much do we expect to spend down the road? Customer billings to date, how much do we send out in bills to the customer? Collections of billings to date, how much did we collect from customers in cash, assumed in cash? So this is the data that was given, and the last piece of data that was given is total contract price. That's the total amount we're going to bill the client, which includes expenses and profit. Now, normally we get questions that are set up like this, to date. So what I like to do at the beginning is I like to show the billings and the collections by year rather than to date. For example, 2013 billings that we billed in 2013 is 2013 in blue minus 12 in green. So I like to break it out by year and if you can see the total, the total adds up to the million 464 which is the contract amount over here. Collections, again, I did it by year, so 2013, this is 2013 less 2012. We're going to see in a minute why by year is more useful than to date. The other thing that's new that I was not on my prior video is the percentage completed, percentage completed reconciliation. So, what I take is the construction to date which are these numbers across the top. And then I take the total costs that are expected. And I divide one by the other. So for example, in 2012, this is construction to date in blue 341 divided by total cost 976, which is the amount that we finished in the year 2012. And it should say percentage completed, not too complete percentage completed. And over here I should also say percentage completed. Because on my prior video I didn't have that reconciliation up there and I don't think some people knew how I was coming up with the number. So for each year I'm taking the cost to date, cost to complete, we're 75 percent done. Now also note that the Completion by year, if you will, is 35% for 2013. In 2000, uh, 2012, excuse me, 35%. 2013, it's actually 75 minus 35. We completed 40% in 2013. And in 2014, 100 minus 75, we completed. 25% in this year. So I'm adding in a figure called completion by year, which I think is a more accurate way of showing this data so we don't have to hunt around to find the data. So let me go over now that I've done that and say, so here is the completed to date, here is the completion by year, and you can see over on this side, that we put the percentage completion here at the top. So, let's the way to set up these problems is right here. This is the most important piece to me. So let's take 2012. Construction to date, these are checks that we wrote. Estimated cost to complete, I add that up and I get 976000 
So my profit is the total amount I'm going to build the client, a million four sixty four in blue, less the cost nine seventy six in green, and I get my total profit for the whole project. For the whole project, how much of that profit do I recognize this year? Is the four eighty eight the total profit in blue times thirty five percent that I finished in two thousand twelve? We do the same thing in 2013. We're 75% completed. So our profit is the same 488. We multiply that by 75% to get 366, but we have to keep in mind that we already recognized about 170,000 in the prior year. So what we recognize in 2013 is the total profit 366, assuming we're 75% done, less what we recognized in the prior year, the 17800. Our gross profit just for 2013 is 195200. In the last year, we've incurred all the costs, we're completely done, but note that the total cost has changed slightly. It's a little bit lower than what we expected in the prior years. Therefore, the profit is a little bit higher now over 500,000. We're 100% done, so we should recognize 100% of the profit. Then we subtract the profits that we recognize in the prior year, and we get profits that we recognize in the current year, which is 14300. And I always run a check here, which is something not always, it's something else that I did was new. I add the three years gross profit and I come up with 506,300, which is the total profit that I got here. So I know I've done it correctly. I put the billings by year here and I put the con collections on billings there at the top also. I'm going to come back to the T accounts in a minute. Let's talk about the journal entries that we're going to make and then go back to the T accounts. They're going to widen one little column here. It's really three sets of journal entries each year. Four sets, excuse me. So, first year, construction in progress. We're going to temporarily park the construction to date cost and we're in an account called construction in progress that I'll explain in the T account later. And we wrote checks so we reduce cash. We build some people. That one 183,000 agrees to the 2012 Billings on Construction Progress. So I put that in. And I park it in an account called Billings Construction Progress. What we're going to find out later is that Construction in Progress and Billings on Construction in Progress are temporary accounts that are, going to go, that are going to go away. And we'll see that in one closing entry at the end. We collect some cash. If I, I can tie that 146.4 to the collections here at the top, right here for 2012, collections on billings. Accounts receivable. We reduced the receivable because we collected some cash. Now, the last journal entry. We've got revenue, and I see off to the right it's the contract price times the percentage completed for this year. So if I click on it, I'm taking the total contract price in blue, 1,464, and I'm multiplying it by 35% in green. That's the total revenue that I recognize. Now, I already know that I had some expenses, so now I'm going to take the money out of, I'm going to take that construction progress money and recognize it as an expense. And then the difference between the revenue and the expense is obviously my gross profit. And if I click on this number, I see the gross profit recognized up here, 17800 That's as far as I'm going to get on this example. I'm going to continue it on the next video. Uh, we now have video textbooks, and I want to type that in. that are 30 minute to one hour videos that are summaries that might be useful. You can find those on the website.
<clears throat> our YouTube channel, Chem Boyd STL. You can email for a complete listing of our videos on YouTube that we update all the time. For live tutoring and chat sessions, stltest.net is the website. Here's our email address and our phone number. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.